Hello everyone from Sylvia. It's Monday message day, isn't it? And I want to share with you my experience or some of my experience over the last two weeks because it may help you at this particular time on our planet and you and your own life experience at the moment. Many people in the UK have been put to rest with this virus that's been going around, coughs and colds, and it seems to have stuck quite hard. And yes, even Sylvia had to have a rest for two weeks. But you know, I decided that I'd go within and ask why this had happened. What was the purpose in it? What did I still need to let go of and release? And although it was like a little voice that said to me that you have to go through this crucifixion and then you will resurrect into your life purpose fully, it was incredible. And I want to share with you that, you know, very often when these things happen, there is a reason for it. We are here for a purpose, all of us. And if we're not pulling out that, fully living out that purpose, then sometimes our higher self, that soul part of us, will put us in a position so that we can actually let go things that aren't serving us. We are in an amazing transformational time with Mother Earth. The whole universe is going through this amazing shift. It's an amazing vibration from that universal source with us now. Transforming Mother Earth, transforming us. But for full transformation to occur and for that love and that peace and that harmony to be known on Mother Earth. Anything that's not serving has to be cleared away, whether it be at government levels, whatever level, it has to be so. And that means that if we have things within ourselves that we haven't forgiven, if we have anger within ourselves, if we have fear about stepping into our own power and being who we want to be, instead of being who others expect us to be and want us to be. All these things will gradually bubble up to the surface to be released and to create that inner peace and joy and that inner knowing of this is why I'm here and this is what I have to do, this is what I want to create. This is an awesome time, and particularly this year, for creating. Maybe you've got challenges at work and you think, this doesn't feel right, and you want to move on and do something different. You may even want to create something and create a business for yourself. This is the year for us to step into our power and live it. And if we have a purpose locked inside with us, it will surface and so will all that rubbish that has to go so we can fulfill our purpose. So when things are coming your way, if things have come your way and you can't really cut them down, you're thinking, why is all this going on and you know, and your head's buzzing with things. Stand still, go into the quiet and look within and you will realise that yes, here's something that I have squashed down but I'm going to look at it now and let it go. It's time to release all the baggage. Let go of the burdens we've been carrying all this time and then feel that inner joy, that inner purpose that wonderful universal love going 
guiding us and leading us into the truth of who we truly are. So this week, find a way to take some time out and be still. Go within. That's where the answers are. Allow yourself a crucifixion and then an amazing resurrection and live out who you truly are, who you want to be, not what other people around you are saying you should be, but who you know within your inner self, within your soul, in that part of you that is eternal, if that is saying to you, you should be doing this, this is your purpose, I challenge you to grasp it and let it lead you and guide you through an amazing year and an amazing life ahead, filled with joy, filled with peace and that wonderful universal love filling all of your body temple because that's what it is filling that temple of who you really are that lives forever with those amazing feelings so I leave that with you this week and there'll be more things to share with you on next Monday have a great one